What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents? Let's have a quick discussion, right? Just my two cents, my personal opinion. Um, for me personally, in case you've been noticing or not, I don't talk too much, if at all anymore, about women, about BWs or white women or anything anymore. I don't talk about women anymore because in my personal opinion us as men we are the biggest issues we we are the creators of the problems that we have in society presently and we are the ones who are going to have to change to change the problems that exist in our society today. Now I say, I say, well, let me let me say this. I do believe that, yes, women contribute to certain issues we have in society. Just like men, we contribute. Again, this is not a put down anybody. This is not a be critical of anyone. This is really for me to be critical of myself, as well as us as men to look within it is in my opinion the thirstiness of our of our of us men it is the the lack of self control it is the bad decision making on our part that lead to society being the way it is and I'm not saying that's my fault directly or your fault directly. I'm saying that we all contribute to the issue. And going forward, I just feel like it doesn't make sense for us to continue to harp on or be critical in areas that it doesn't it doesn't benefit us to have these discussions or have these thoughts or, or mindsets regarding our counterparts. That isn't gonna help us grow. For example, um, and uh, Mr. Minister Jap, very entertaining. You know, I, I'm not here to put down anybody else's craft or what they do. Uh, I, I enjoyed watching him, and he makes me laugh. He's funny, with church organ and all that stuff. There was um, there was a video recently. There was a video recently, and it was about it was about uh, Minister Jap and somebody else he was with, and I think the video subject was like are BWs really that bad or you know something like that and I guess I'm not here to talk or to step on anyone's toes I just know for me I'm at the place where in my life where I'm like I understand that focusing on a woman is not going to elevate me to the position I want to be in in fact I would say focusing on woman has been a detriment to me getting to where I want to be because it's it's easy to get comfortable and complacent when good sex is involved, good food is involved, and even your emotions are involved as a man. Which is why it's so much more important, I realize, to keep these things in track. Because it is so easy to get caught up and just be down that emotional path that doesn't benefit you or in this case me so and, and, and let's be honest as, as men we know the game when we do what we need to do in terms of elevating ourselves and being better making more money having a better body accruing power when we do these things we understand that they come along with it you know and the honest truth is the complaining we see it, it is because most men don't want to do the work and then we don't want to discipline ourselves we don't want to say you know what I'm going to take a break for a year two three four five whatever the case may be to put things in order to have better cho choices or options or anything like that. 
And again, I'm not here to, to dictate or judge anybody else because again, every man's life is his own. We all gotta speak to the most high and give an account for our lives when the time comes. I just realized for me, you know, I'm done sitting here complaining about women. I'm done sitting here living in a fantasy land of traditionalism that doesn't exist anymore. Nor am I going to sit here and complain about what they are doing or what not they're not doing. For what? It doesn't make sense. And we all got to come to some understanding in our lives on our own because at the end of the day, if we just continue down the path we've been on, we remain in the same space we've been in. And there's no growth. So, that's just my, my two cents on it. Yes, women contribute a lot, but men, we are the issues because we give the power, we give the attention, we give the energy, we give the money. And it's on us to change this narrative if we want to change this narrative. If not, then, you know. But I will say this. I truly believe that because so, f not so few, but because most men will probably not take the time to really look within themselves and say, hey, maybe I need to work on me physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, career-wise, whatever the case may be. I think for us as men who, that are willing to put forth the discipline and and grow, I believe the options at the at the at the at the longer term, the options, the opportunities are going to be that much more abundant for us. I mean, look at look at the black community right now. Look at how many young brothers are going to jail getting shot up, getting locked up because of unfortunate, unfortunately the thug culture that's promoted that leaves a void of men to where monogamy ain't gonna work there isn't enough men for just one one <laughs> one woman, one man and we could judge the historical context of whether that's how society really is anyway. I know it's promoted in America for a, a certain standard of life for individuals, but I mean, we just have to understand that there's a void. There's not enough, not enough men. And you're talking about immigrants coming in. You're, there's a lot. There's a lot that has to be considered. There's a lot taking place. And at the end of the day, I don't have all the answers. What I do know is that for those of us who are willing to put forth the work, the effort, and we're willing to sacrifice long term maybe not today maybe not tomorrow maybe not next month maybe next not next year but long term we can win we just got to be disciplined so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i gotta get into staples real quick buy some ink you guys have a blessed day